Ensuring compliance with USP General Chapter 1058 in 2024. Overview of USP General Chapter 1058 and its importance. USP General Chapter 1058 outlines how laboratories should qualify their instruments to ensure accurate results. It's a globally important standard because it's the only major pharmacopoeia that focuses specifically on instrument qualification. Key changes in the 2017 version of USP General Chapter 1058. The 2017 updates introduce key changes, like the need to document user requirements and conduct risk assessments. These updates help ensure that instruments are qualified based on how they will be used in the lab. USP General Chapter 1058 Instrument Groups A, B, and C USP General Chapter 1058 Groups Instruments into three categories, A, B, and C, based on complexity. Group A includes simple instruments like mixers, while Group C covers more advanced tools like chromatographs. Group A includes simple apparatus like a magnetic stirrer or vortex mixer that doesn't require detailed qualification. Group B covers instruments like pH meters, which need calibration but not full qualification. These instruments may have firmware but not complex software. Group C involves highly complex, computerized instruments such as high-performance liquid chromatographs, HPLC, and mass spectrometers. For these... You need to consider all aspects of qualification, from software to hardware. The role of analytical instrument qualification in data integrity. Data integrity is one of the most critical aspects of compliance in regulated labs, and AIQ plays a foundational role in ensuring it. USP General Chapter 1058 outlines a four-layer data integrity model. Foundation, the governance framework, policies, and training for data integrity. Layer 1. The right instrument for the job, meaning AIQ and computerized system validation must be in place. Layer 2. The right analytical method developed and validated under actual use conditions. Layer 3. The correct execution of the analysis, from sampling to reporting results. How to achieve compliance with USP General Chapter 1058 in 2024. Now that we've covered the changes and their significance, Let's talk about how to stay compliant with USP General Chapter 1058 in 2024. Document user requirements. The first step is to clearly document your lab's needs and the technical requirements of the instruments in use. This is a foundation for your risk assessment and AIQ processes. Perform a risk assessment. Determine how each instrument should be qualified based on its complexity and intended use. Use this to classify instruments into groups A, B, or C. Update SOPs and qualification protocols. Ensure that your lab standard operating procedures, SOPs, reflect the 2017 changes. This includes linking your OQ and PQ directly to the user requirements and making sure all software is validated. Use qualified suppliers and service providers. When outsourcing AIQ or purchasing new instruments, work with vendors who understand the regulatory requirements. Ensure they provide clear documentation and support. Monitor and maintain compliance. Compliance doesn't stop once qualification is complete. Ongoing performance checks, change control processes, and regular audits are essential to ensuring continuous compliance. The future of AIQ and USP General Chapter 1058. As regulations continue to evolve, laboratories will need to adapt their qualification processes. Staying ahead of these changes will help ensure data integrity and regulatory compliance in the years to come. We hope this video has helped clarify the 2017 updates to USP General Chapter 1058 and their relevance in 2024. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay informed about the latest laboratory compliance updates.